Objectives of Educational Technology Educational technology, in the capacity of technology of education, provides valuable help in the total teaching learning process for achieving the best possible results in an economic way through the available human and non-human resources. In this respect, the major objectives of education technology can be summarized as follows, objectives at the macro level, in the view of the broad educational goals, i.e. the macro level, the objectives of educational technology can be listed in the following way, 1. To identify educational needs and aspirations of the community. 2. To determine the aims of education, broad strategies and structure of education. 3. To develop a suitable curriculum with interaction of science, art and human values. 4. To identify man material resources and strategies for achieving the stipulated aims of education. 5. To develop certain models leading to improvement of the process of teaching and learning. 6. To develop the appropriate aids and equipment to meet the educational purposes. 7. To identify major constraints in the environment and the ways and means to tackle those. 8. To help in extending educational opportunities to the masses especially the neglected section of the community. 9. To manage the whole educational system covering planning, implementation and the evaluation phases. Objectives at the micro level. In the view of the specific classroom teaching, i.e. the micro level, the objectives of educational technology are as follows. 1. To identify and analyze the characteristics and educational needs of the pupils. 2. To determine the specific classroom objectives and state then in behavioral terms. 3. To analyze the contents of the instruction and organize it in a proper sequence. 4. To identify the available teaching learning material and resources. 5. To identify the nature of the interaction of the subsystems like students, teachers, teaching learning material, content of instruction and methodologies. 6. To plan the teaching strategies and utilize the man material resources for achieving specific classroom objectives. 7. To evaluate the effectiveness of the classroom teaching in the terms of the pupil's performance or change in behavior. 8. To provide appropriate feedback to the students as well as teachers to bring modification in the teaching learning process.